、えっと、あの。Thank you for the kind introduction. I am Inui. And、uh, I would like to start my presentation. Professor Kote and、uh, two other distinguished panelists. I have something different from my own perspective or standing. Three other speakers have conducted the large scale quantitative data as a basis for their arguments. But for myself, rather than that, I have focused on qualitative studies, not so much. Details in terms of the data. And I think there may be another difference between myself and other three speakers. I think, in a relative sense, for the three other speakers, individual agency or personal agency might have been more important. In the discussion, but for myself, I will be using the concept of identity, but for me, community or communality is going to have where I am going to have more focus. And additionally, in Japan, the issue of transition. Is becoming a very big issue for the past 10 years or so. And the career education is measures taken, and the motivation and the attitude of those、uh, the personal agencies are what、uh, people try to enhance in the past. But from my own perspective, I wonder whether the individual or personal level of agency is the only important aspect. I hope to add another perspective. Late modernity and the youth transition from school to work. Must be understood in the weakening of the social structural constraints, which increased the importance of agency in Europe as well. For the past 10 years or so, there is an increased discussion about this issue. Concerning the individual relation in the late modernity,、uh, the social structure like、uh, classes may be overcome or overwhelmed by the changes. Du Bois Raymond is a Dutch researcher who talked about trend setter learner concept. This is a learning style of use rather than the institutionalized official learning. Are the informal or non formal learning must be utilized effectively by. Individually, as we see the weakening of the structural constraint. Concerning agency, identity as agency is another a focus of discussion recently. Giddens. And the, the Professor Cote's identity capital 
both present a very important point for consideration. And the Professor Kote I think is cautious about the weakening of the social structure constraint, whether it's completely gone or not. And uh, as the Professor Kote already gave us a wonderful presentation, I think I should try not to go into details. Earlier, Professor Kote talked about both tangible and intangible identity capitals. And uh, I wish to focus more on intangible aspects. I may be repeating what Professor Kute said. Uh, the, the among identity capitals, what is intangible? Intangibles ones involve ego strengths that entail reflective agentic capacities such as an internal locus of control, self-esteem, a sense of purpose in life, the ability to self-actualize and critical thinking abilities. This is what the Professor Kote argues. I also feel that the trying to understand the transition, which is quite individualized for each individual, uh, use in order to understand each individual path of when individual use and how he or she accept or uh, the grasps his or her own past to take it as part of their own identity. In the formation and maintenance of identity, individuals in a capacity, for example, one's own experience, or one's own strengths must be integrated so that one person can narrate one's own story according to Giddens. So, as Professor Kote mentioned, ego strengths as individuals in a capacity, I believe, is also quite important. I agree with him, but I still have one question whether identity is entirely formed and sustained by individuals in a capacity or not, because I think there may be a possibility of combining individuals in a capacity and something outside of the individual to be more effective. Concerning the concept of identity, it was first postulated by Erickson, as we understand it as a theory today. And uh, among Erickson's argument, the following is quite important. And uh, that is, uh, it is, ego is inseparable from communality or community. He said, uh, the, it is a subjective sense as well as an, ob an observable quality of personal sameness and continuity. 
paired with some belief in the sameness and the continuity of some shared world image. As a quality of unselfconscious living, this can be gloriously obvious in a young person who has found himself as he has found his communality. And uh, he went on to say, the social part of identity then must be accounted for in that communality with which an individual finds himself. No ego is an island to itself. This is what Erickson said. And in late modernity, because individualization is so important, inner capacity is quite important to have integration inside, but the community or community to which one belongs Maybe another side of a coin. You need both the inner capacity or ego aspect and also the communality or community. This is the reason why I asked the question earlier whether identity is entirely formed and sustained by individual inner capacity or not. So, I talked about my basic way of thinking, and now I would like to introduce you some actual cases. And uh, recently, there are many cases of social withdrawal. This is called the hikikomori in Japan, and when they managed to recover from hikikomori, they tend to find their own niches. Tokyo Metropolitan University is now given a new name in Japanese, have conducted a continuous survey from 2002 to 2008. The first uh, the survey was conducted when he were, or she was in the last year of the high school. And uh, we picked up two senior high schools. Uh, the school A is uh, the ranked at the middle in terms of the, uh, the, the standard deviation of the uh, scores. And uh, another school, school B, is ranked lower. At school A, most of the, the students went to either university or colleges. And uh, from school B, only a few went to uh, university or colleges. But most of them tried to get regular employment. Some exceeded, but some could not get a regular jobs. And uh, I tried to look at what happened to those students who tried to get regular employment. Those students who are indifferent to what they want to do after school could get regular employment. And those students with something they want to do as a job, knew that they, they have to get higher education. So they wanted to go to vocational colleges. But uh, many of them could not go to the vocational colleges because of the financial constraints of the family. Those got, who got job directly from uh, the high school or after the co uh, colleges uh, left job within uh, 13 months. 
from getting the job. And the, there are many early job leavers. And the, there are common features among them. They try to survive alone till the last moment, but they could not make it. And they had to leave the job, and after leaving the job, they feel very responsible for what they could not have achieved. Those who could survive the first year did not have the same feeling. Those who could survive the first year, including them, most of those who got jobs did experience crisis in the first year, thinking about quitting the job quite seriously. I would like to introduce to you two case studies that I was engaged myself on. And the one is uh, Mr. Kido, Takashi Kido, graduate of A high school. And they, many of the uh, students are enrolled in university on recommendation. However, Takashi uh, challenged to take the examination of the very prestigious university. However, that he could not pass and have to um, leave the, the high school for one year for doing one year of his uh, self-study. And during that the Juku or the preparatory school teachers, they say that I uh, strongly recommended Takashi to go to the IT vocational schools because uh, Takashi was advised that rather than going to the, the mediocre university, the system engineers graduate of the vocational school can make a lot of money. And Takashi uh, persuaded himself that if I study like this, I can just challenge that the mediocre university. So why don't we go into the IT or computer technology vocational school? And during the early interview, Takashi says that uh, I start with a programmer, and by the time I get 30 years old, I would like to be promoted to the system engineers and then manager. And that was the contents of the interview in 2005. This is a well thought out interview, I thought. It is not just out of the head of the Takashi. He knows very much about the ID market. And uh, he graduated. He enrolled into the small size of ID company. And he was attracted that uh, this is a small organization and homely atmosphere. A very small size of the companies, but uh, the level of the company is very high. And so that uh, he can brush up the ideas, the programmers, the skills there, and be promoted to or join the even bigger company. That was his aspiration. During that uh, new recruits training, after enrollment of the uh, joining the universe, uh, joining the company, and he was dispatched to the large size of elect uh, electric manufacturers, and uh, dispatched together with that um, the senior employees. But uh, they had to join the the different departments. And so that he was thrown into the, the strangers, you know, that he was dispatched to the different companies so that nobody knows him, nobody knew Takashi, Takashi knew anybody. And it was a hodgepodge of the people that dispatched to from many different IT companies. And in the early September, uh, July, suddenly that Takashi was given that the project of um, constructing the program using the uh, computer pro uh, language that he has never studied in three days. And uh, Takashi says that, oh, it is impossible at first, but uh, this may be done probably. And if um, I cannot do that assignment of the very small company like this, uh, that I can ne be, never be successful in a bigger company. So this may be the common sense in this IT field. I felt that I couldn't go to the company, that the larger company. And the three days, 
that Takashi worked like um, the horse, however, that couldn't make that um, can finish the program in three days' time, so that um, he says that he virtually disappeared right away and quit the company almost right away. And after leaving the company for two months that he lost all the confidence and it was a withdrawal, virtual withdrawal. So this is Takashi's case. Another is Kobayashi or Shunsuke's case. Shunsuke became the auto mechanic, graduate of the B school, which is considered to be a very low level of the high school. And he has been always very interested in the motorcycle and joined that the vocational school of the auto mechanic and with the teacher's advice that uh, he joined that auto mechanic body company. And the first uh, first month or three months that he was discouraged uh, because of uh, the long hours, so that uh, he has to uh, come to the, the company around eight and how to stay until midnight and overtime jobs for the first one to three months. And Shunsuke was very discouraged that no overtime payment is considered. And he was about to leave the company in July or August. However, that when he asked the advice of the, the senior members of the, the vocational school, uh, they said that uh, the other companies are a lot worse. Let's hang on. Hang, it, um, hang on. And uh, the other senior members of the um, uh, senior students came to him, very joking, happy time. And uh, when Shunsuke complained that his expression turned uh, so seriously suddenly and said that, hang on, again, basically. And actually, this company is given that uh, one by one of the skill build up. And if that uh, Shunsuke build up the skill that uh, his boss uh, draw in the check on the skill sheet, and gradually that Shunsuke felt that his skill has been improving. And uh, the better he gets, the more challenging job that given to him. And this is the contents of the interview of the December 2005 after joining of the company. And the second year after joining the company, the second year, uh, there was the, the second year employees training, front end training, including the uh, mechanics and all. And uh, his girlfriend got pregnant around this time, and uh, Shunsuke decided to marry her. The company about at this time said that uh, you uh, you did wonderful with this uh, second year training, so that uh, go to the, uh, become the head of the satellite outlet. Yes, it's a better payment. However, that uh, Shunsuke didn't have too much of the confidence. I want, I originally wanted a mechanic. Can I keep the job or uh, can I sustain my performance as a head of satellite outlet? But anyway, that he came to the decision to take the offer. Toward the end of 2008, and after that he became that uh, director of the satellite outlet, right after this his baby was born, and all that the recruit of the same year, that the, those people that who joined the company together, gathered together and conducted the baby shower party for him. So compared to this, the sense of belonging is agentic. After several times with the interview, except the last interview, that uh, both of them, uh, the, uh, uh, Takashi was very painted the bright picture of the future. But because that his expectation of the future is so high when he could not make it, that he reproached himself. Now, Shunsuke, the second case, that there was a crisis of the first year, but he hung on. And also from the second year, that he had to modify the, the track from the auto mechanic to the front end. However, that or going over these obstacles, there was a support of their same-year students 
or the callings of the workplace. And these are the trigger for him to, well, uh, anyway, that the first case that um, Takashi actually that uh, graduated with the withdrawal because that his colleagues or the students or that the alumni got together and asked him what happened. And many people said that is impossible. The program in three days is absolutely pos um, preposterous. That was the time that the Takashi could come out of the withdrawal. Now, comparing that, uh, considering these uh, two case studies, I can conclude. I think that the colleagues of the office played an important role, but at the same time, that the alumni of that uh, vocational schools, their human ties saved both of them. So I think this attests to the importance of the community or commune. So that ibasho or community have to be provided. So this withdrawing youth in order to create the community for the withdrawing youth has been the effort that we have done. And when the withdrawal became the issue around 2000, and uh, there are many support was provided to youth in many different ways. But the only successful case that we have seen was that the support with the community or halfway home for them. Ibasho means community and also providing that the community and also that providing the support of creating that the human network within the community of the youth, the character manipulation, one was the one technology of nurturing that the human ties of the youth within the community so that they will have a strong sense of the belonging in the community which is a, uh, the halfway home for luring that the youth from the withdrawal to the second midway home to the society, ultimately. So in this sense, from the two case studies, that what I have been trying to explain to the others is that in the transitional process, in the transitional process, that uh, traditional community has been fragmenting, which is true. But even so, in the traditional process, as Gideon says, the ontological safety should be secured, which maybe may exist in the colleagues' community, alumni's community. So within this relationship of the community, the new type of the community, that the transition process can be expedited. And the traditional community has been fragmenting, therefore, the supporting transitional community will be very helpful for helping that the youth to try to the smoother transition process, like alumni, high school, amenity networks, is sometimes very strong among that, or well, five years, for example, among that the, the female neat people I have found out, which is far cry from the traditional community until 1980. You know that the, the transition was considered to be instantaneous from the, the school community to the office community and no bridge in between. However, the alumni's ties after graduation is hard to see, but now it is helping as a bridge of helping the youth from the school community 
to work community. I think that this transitional community is emerging against the background of individualization. And so we have to consciously pay more attention to the traditional community and nurture it to compensate for the fragmenting the traditional, uh, tra uh, traditional community. With this, I would like to conclude. I think that this is just 30 minutes that I have used. Thank you very much.